From Malawi, Ajarine formation perched on a feldspar matrix. Um, quite a lovely, a uh, little bit larger than a palm sized specimen. And of course, the main body of the specimen is this Ajarine. Um, the main point of display for me would be this, where you can see the angles of the Ajarine crystals running up here. So that would be crystalline on those faces. We go across here, look into the crystal. There you can see the, the crystalline heads running across there. If you zoom into the still pictures, you can actually uh, uh, look at the general form of this guy. Also, we have a little quartz crystal perched here, maybe a little bit of zircon there, the creamy yellowish uh, material. Now, the zircons from uh, uh, Mount Malosa don't fluoresce, but the ones from uh, another deposit in Malawi, you get pretty large zircon individual crystals usually do fluoresce. I don't think these fluoresce. I've never actually tested it, but I believe they don't. Quite a lovely, lovely piece. Uh, a palm size, a healthy size, not all that heavy. Mainly made up, the specimen is mainly made up of this uh, this uh, Ajarine crystal, uh, being the core, as you see over there, going across here. And what is this material on the sides? Also, uh, 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 Mount Melosa is a pretty une unexplored site, so often you find little bits, little rarities here and there. Uh, usually, what what I usually look for on the on the material from Malawi is is anything yellow is where you find the little rarities, the like the the likes of Zenitam, Y parasite, uh, zircon. Of course, is quite abundant from this site.